cute. Yeah. Hello everyone, welcome to today's video. I just wanna note this is our first real video filmed here in our new space in Beacon. I think that is really exciting. I love this new background setup that we have. We have so much more room to create more areas to do filming. We built this table yesterday mainly for this video. I don't know who we thought we were thinking that we could take a 306 pound package upstairs, but we eventually wrangled some help from these very friendly people and they helped us get it in here. And so now we have this lovely table to work with. Anyway, Anyway, in this video, it will be a shopping haul. I really enjoyed doing the YSL and designer shopping haul a few months ago, and you guys seemed to really enjoy it as well. There was so much good conversation in the comments about it. That was my first time ever doing a shopping haul, and I really enjoyed it. And so I've been shopping a lot for summer, so I thought this would be the perfect opportunity. So we'll unbox some stuff, we'll check it all out, and then we'll probably try some things on, and we'll just have a good old time. I have my San Pellegrino. So let's not waste any time, and let's dive on in. Okay, something funny before we get started. One of my dear friends sent us a housewarming gift and we got a little notification from Target telling us it was on its way. We both kind of sat there and pondered and we couldn't really figure out. We were like, what could it possibly be? And I was not expecting at all what it is. So our friend got us a Lego set of our little baby Hudson. It was absolutely not what I was expecting at all. And so he said that he saw this and he thought of us instantly. And so he knew that we had to have it. And of course, so I stopped everything that I was doing to start this Lego set. And Legos have never really been my thing. I don't really know why, especially because once I started this, it's actually very therapeutic. It's not really like a puzzle where you kind of just feel lost. You're very guided through it, almost like a meditation. So I totally get why people are completely obsessed with Legos. But anyway, like I said, I have been now doing this for, almost two days and we are about halfway done i think i have the lower half of the body finished and i think i'm doing pretty well especially for my first lego set really ever pretty proud of myself so our friend ian if you're watching thank you so much we are obsessed and we've been doing it for the last 17 hours watch me completely turn into a full-on lego person and i just have legos everywhere and now let's move on okay so we're gonna start with a little home item this is the diptyque city collection they do this every single year. Wow, that smells actually amazing. They're not even open. The fact that I can smell that is beyond me. This is what the beautiful box that they came in looked like. So this year we got Tokyo, New York, Berlin, Miami, Paris, and Hong Kong. And so the only ones out of here that I have smelt before are Miami and Paris. The Diptyque City Candle Collection is something they do every, I believe it is June, every June, but they kind of create this scent of what should be like the essence of a city or it helps remind you of a city. And so they have them for a bunch of different cities. They have a little photo of them all right here. So they have Hong Kong, Berlin, New York, Shanghai, Beverly Hills, Seoul, Korea, Paris, Miami, Tokyo, London. So, you know, just a bunch of fun cities. I always love getting them because they are the more unique collection. They're only available for a short period of time every year. And I just think they're really unique. They always have fun patterns and prints all over them. They step away from the traditional see-through glass of the Diptyque candles. And I don't know, they just came and I thought they would be a perfect thing to share with you guys. Oh, hello. Hi, what do you have here? Look who decided to show up. <laughs> I was working. <laughs> These are the Diptyque City candles that we got this year. Oh my gosh. Wow, they're like so fragrant. I know, this This is the only one that is actually open. I couldn't wait to smell it. It is the Berlin one. Like, look how pretty. What's the scent of it? Oh wow, it smells like trees. Let's see, what is the scent of Berlin? Oh, the Berlin scent is linden trees and honey. Oh my God, amazing. It's supposed to resemble, I'm gonna butcher this, so I'm sorry. A walk down the celebrated Unter den Linden. I don't know if that was right there, but you know. I feel like that's not right. Okay, well, <laughs> I try my best, guys. The Berlin candle diffuses the potent intoxicating fragrance of blooming linden trees with light traces of honey. The, oh. the arty, colorful design captures the creative soul of the city in a tribute to one of its emblematic moments. The Brandenburg Gate. Wow. Wow. Okay, so this is the collection. So Hong Kong is orchard and vanilla. Paris is accord and lavender, the very essence of Parisian chic. This is a French company, so they're gonna, they're gonna love Paris the most. Miami is magnolia and lemon. We actually just finished burning this one. I love, that's one of my faves. It's a great one. Yeah. Berlin is the linden trees and honey. New York is cedarwood, vetiver, and patchouli. So you know I'm gonna love this one. If you watched the fragrance video, me and her, we gonna be, we gonna be friends. Oh yeah, wow. What does it smell like? Mm. Oh yeah. 
It smells yeah. like a leather couch that somebody has owned for 500 years. Mm. And then Tokyo is Cypress and Incense, a memory of a stroll in Japan. Wow. Okay, I've never been to Japan, so this is as close as we get. Okay, should we smell them? Mmm. Oh, wow. Mmm. That's just fresh. This one's the prettiest. The shimmer on the red. Really? Like, I, I think... thought this is the prettiest. Really? Yeah. Not smell, look. Look, yeah. Oh, okay, well. Wow. Different taste, I guess. I just love a nice, like, white, mm, wow. simple. This is beautiful. Right. Fresh. This is super fresh. Wow. That is stunning. We smelled New York already. It feels almost smoky, oh, leathery, like it. you said. It reminds me of my, my grandfather's house. Like but in like a great way. I don't know how to describe that. Like old cologne, yes. whiskey, mm -hmm. smoke. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> Miami is the lemon. Yeah. Great. Yep. Very fresh. Great summer for sure. Vanilla. Mmm. Wow. That smells like Paris, honestly. It also smells like a pastry. Mmm. Well, I mean, right? they are the city of the pastries, huh? Oh. I don't know what that smells like. Very floral. Yeah. It's like a nice summer breeze. <laughs> I love it. What's your favorite? Okay, favorite smell, I think, is New York. I think so too. And then favorite, like, vessel, I think, is this one. I think it's Tokyo, yeah. Mine started as Hong Kong, but now that you are influencing me, I kind of am agreeing. I just feel like that would look great on anyone's show. I really like the Paris one too, but. Yeah, very Art Deco sexy. Wow. Well, thank you for your input here. Yeah. Am, am I dismissed? I'm just kidding. <laughs> you be dismissed. I'm just kidding. All right, love you. Bye. Bye. Chum. All right, let's clean this up. So that is the City Candles from Diptyque, some of my absolute favorite from them. I don't know if they'll be available still by the time that this video goes live. If they are, I'll link them below. If not, I will link some of my absolute favorite Diptyques. The list could go on, honestly, but I'll list like my top five. They're incredible candles. They last forever. I think it's like almost 40 hours or something like that. So let's clean this up and let's move on into some fashion. When I think about summer shopping, I really think of like what summer means to me. And summer is kind of like this festive moment, honestly, for me. It's kind of like where everyone's on the same page. Everyone is kind of warm. You're wearing a lot lighter clothing. And it's like the one season that you can just fully wear kind of like whatever you want. You can wear shirts open. You can wear really small shorts. You can wear tank tops, sandals. It's just all kind of acceptable because everyone knows that it's really warm outside. I like to dip into a lot of neutral clothing. I like to dip into prints, florals. But most importantly is I like to be comfortable. If it's hot outside, I'm not trying to sweat. I don't really enjoy sweating. I'm honestly getting used to the humidity levels here in New York and I've really had to find patience in my body for just sweating. I never really sweat that much in LA so here it's just you walk outside and you start sweating. So you want to wear clothing that complements all of that. So we're going to start with a few items that I got from Tom Brown and to begin we're going to start with a lovely shirt. I first saw this shirt when I was scrolling online and I don't know I just instantly fell in love with it. I felt like it was classic enough but unique enough and I I feel like that's the Tom Brown brand anyway. Something I love about Tom Brown is he always uses one of his garment tags with adhesive on the back to close all of the tissue paper. It's just, it's very detailed and that's what I love so much about him. Opening it up, I have this beautiful white Oxford shirt, but it's not just a white Oxford shirt. This shirt, besides it needing a steam, has this beautiful floral embroidered four bar on the sleeve. Tom Brown always usually does a four bar. It's his like classic thing, but but when I saw this one being embroidered and it was blue and it had a little floral print on it, I was just like, you know what? That is the perfect shirt for summer. I think it really could go with so much. It could go with white pants. It could go with blue jeans. You know how much I love my blue jeans. It could easily go with a pair of shorts. I've been loving this like shorts with an unbuttoned shirt with a tank top underneath it kind of vibe. Put loafers on, it's just a whole moment. But I thought this shirt was incredibly summer and I think that I'll get use out of it for multiple summers ahead as well. With me, you cannot really go wrong with blue and white. That's just a colorway that I'll never give up. You have your classic little Tom Brown tag on the back of the neck. I don't know. I just love Tom Brown clothing. I think he does such an amazing job at capturing something that you can wear forever, wear with anything, but has this touch that, I don't know, just screams unique. And that's our first item from Tom Brown. Next, we have a pair of Tom Brown glasses. You guys know how much I love Tom Brown glasses if you have watched any of our other videos. I need to stop going into the store in Tribeca in New York City because they have them displayed in such a beautiful way that you can't not look at them and not try them on. And then once you do try them on, it's done. It's game over. You're just, you're gonna want at least one pair. 
And so last time I went in, I got those clear frames that I am always wearing these days. And so this time I went in and I didn't think I was gonna get these at all, but I tried them on and I honestly thought I was gonna look absolutely ridiculous. You know, when you like see a pair of glasses and you're like, oh, I'm gonna put those on because I know I'm gonna look so bad. And but then I put them on and I realized, oh my gosh, I love these. And so some people might think I look bad in them, but I think I look okay in them, so. You look great. Thanks, Nick. I feel like an art school professor, kind of, or <laughs> something just very intellectual. I love the tortoise shell on them. I also love the clear lenses. I think they're great for like everyday use. I'm not very good at wearing sunglasses because I get rather annoyed at taking them on and off constantly. And then when it turns to night, you can't wear them anymore. And then if you have them from the day, you just are holding on to them in some way. And I, I don't know, but I've really fallen in love with spectacles lately and I think these are a cute little addition. I really thought how small they were and how round they were I was gonna look ridiculous but I don't know I don't hate them. What do we think? So these are our Tom Brown glasses. Maybe I'll leave them on for a minute. Now we're not just done with Tom Brown yet. We got something very exciting for our home that I wanna show you guys and this is the first time we're really opening them up so Nicholas do you want to come back over? I need a mic. Oh yeah, so we have two amazing home items from Tom Brown. He recently did a collab with a linen company called Frette, and Frette is a really, what, like luxury linen company? They make towels, yeah. all those things. Linens. Yeah. And he did this beautiful presentation in Italy to launch it, it, it was stunning. And while we didn't get sheets from them, we did get something very exciting. Should we take them out? Yes. So these are Tom Brown little pillows. We saw them when we were in the shop while we were waiting to try something else on. And I was like, oh my gosh, those are so cute. And the sales associate was like, oh, actually somebody requested those and then they ended up not wanting them and we aren't even supposed to have them. And we only have two. And I was like, oh, why did you say that to me? Actually, he said he only had one. Oh, and yeah. then and then he checked and there was another. I know, we fully gave up. We were like, okay, I guess we're never gonna have these pillows. And then he came back with both of them and it was just a no brainer. I know. So these are gonna go on our new couch here in Beacon. We thought it would be a fun way to kind of bring into the space uh, with something new. And I just think they're gonna be so perfect. I love them. They're so cozy. I know, they're very soft. And it's kind of a new color palette for us. We never really do gray They're pillows. very cute. Yeah, ow. <laughs> and good for that. Yeah. Soft enough to not hurt anyone, but hard enough to knock some sense. And chic enough to display. Perfect. And so these are our Tom Brown Frette collab pillows. We will definitely show you them once we get them on our couch and everything like that. I know, I'm like very excited to style these. Okay, I'm leaving now. Bye. Could you give me another San Pellegrino? Yeah. I'll trade you. Thanks. All right, where were we? Next, I wanna show you guys a set that I got that I'm really excited about. So I found this blue shirt from the Frankie shop. And it honestly was one of my first times really shopping at the Frankie shop. And I didn't realize how many amazing things that they have, especially great colors, great shirts, great outerwear, especially. But I really loved this color blue. Shocking that I loved a blue shirt. So I tried it on and I was like, oh wow, this is amazing. And then little and behold, they had matching little shorts to go with it. And so it's a full set, all the same color blue, perfect for summer. You can easily wear it with any kind of sneaker, I feel like, or even like a nice loafer with some socks. You can wear it closed as a set, or you can unbutton it and play with a color of tank top underneath, or you can just let your skin fly. Like I said, it's summer, everything's basically acceptable, everyone's hot. And so I'm very excited about this. I think this is honestly one of my first like short shirt sets. So we'll definitely be getting a lot of use out of this this summer. And what I love about them both so much is that even though they are an amazing set, they can easily be worn separate. You can wear the shorts with just a t-shirt or a tank top, any other kind of shirt if you want. And the blue button-up shirt, I think, will easily go with white jeans, blue jeans, you know, the usual. Are you guys catching on that I wear a lot of white jeans and blue jeans? And so those are my items from the Frankie shop. If you're like me and have been sleeping on the Frankie shop, don't, because they have amazing items. Okay, moving on. We have two pieces from La Mer. You know La Mer is one of my absolute favorite brands. I actually have to keep myself off of their website a lot because the list will just accumulate and then I won't have any money and it's a problem. But 
for now, I am always on the hunt for a good pair of sneakers, especially white or neutral for summer because obviously they go with everything. I'm a big fan of the white Vans Authentic. I wear them all the time, but I wanted something that was like a little bit more up from there. I do love the white Vans Authentic in the summer, especially because they are this very summer shoe for me. They're very light. You can run around in them really, but I do wear them all year. Anyway, I found these sneakers from La Mer. And while they're not stark white, I think they'll give off enough of like a white sneaker. But I also think they're a little bit different enough to just a normal all white leather sneaker. And so this is a almost like ivory off white sneaker with this almost like see through gum sole. It has this square toe, which I'm really into actually. So interesting. You can actually see the shoe from underneath it through the gum sole. It's actually really interesting. I've never seen that before. Like you can see how they glued it all on and everything like that. That's really, really cool. Anyway, it has like a little suede toe cap. I think these are just such a good neutral sneaker. I think yet again, they could probably go with just about anything. And that's what I mean for summer. You need something that's just easy. You can throw it on, it can go with anything. You don't really have to think about it because you are on your way. You're going to the park, you're going to the beach, you're going to the pool, you're going to, I don't know, go out and have some fun with some friends. Like you're not there to spend those sunny summer days inside in your closet, figuring out what you're gonna wear. And that's why I love just an all white sneaker. Oh my god, you bought those? I was literally just about to buy them. Well, now we have them. Although you can't wear them. Okay, well, I might have to buy another pair. So be it. Those are my new summer shoes. Very excited. Haven't worn them yet because I wanted to make sure to unbox them here. So now they'll probably be glued to my feet. We'll see how they look in the end of summer. Next from La Mer, we have this crocodile embossed leather belt. It's almost like a green brown shade really. And it has this little gold light hardware on the front of it. If you are having problems figuring out sizing with belts online, if you are around a 20 inch, not 20, if you are around a 28 inch waist, you would be an 80 centimeter. I've ordered, I think every single size to try and figure it out. And I've had to send back numerous belts. Anyway, La Mer makes beautiful belts. I have, I think four of them now with this one. The back of this one is a beautiful suede. And I think the green, brownish color on it really gives this nice like daytime summer vibe. I think you can wear it with blue jeans, white jeans, brown trousers. I feel like you could probably even wear it with black trousers. I like the little shine and the gold. It just makes it feel like it's sunny and it's warm and you know you're out having a good time. You're at a cookout, you're at someone's backyard, barbecue, you know, all those summer things. Very excited. This is my first non-black belt actually and I've been waiting and waiting to find the perfect one. So happy to say that I finally found one. I really think you could dress it up, also dress it down. I don't think any trouser would look bad with this, honestly. Those are our La Mer items. And now we will move on to a few items that I got from Dries Van Noten. I really hope that a Dries Van Noten opens in New York City because I really loved going into Dries Van Noten in LA whenever I was feeling down in the dumps and I needed some inspiration. I would always go there. They had amazing music, they have amazing clothing. I just really hope that we get one in New York City. So, a pair of shoes. If you watched my last haul, I got those white leather loafers and I am absolutely in love with them. Like. I, I can't even begin to tell you how much I wear them and how much I love them and all the compliments I get. So when I was in there shopping for those white ones, I saw brown ones and I didn't want to purchase both of them because I didn't know if I was going to like them and you know, things like that. But so when I was back in there, they still had my size in the brown and so I bought them. These shoes, I kid you not, are one of my most complimented at the moment and also most worn, which might be why they're the most complimented, honestly. But I loved the white one so much. They're so easy to just slip on and throw on and they go so well with outfits. Honestly, they give you this nice slouchy, but like put together sophisticated look. And like who doesn't want to be able to just slide on shoes and it look great. They're not like uncomfortable. Like some loafers can be, they honestly feel like you're wearing like slippers and socks. I wear them out all the time and they don't get messed up. So I will say the sizing is a bit funky. I'm normally a 42 and I had to get a 40. So if you're looking at these, definitely size down a couple 
couple. I think it's mainly just because there's no elasticity here. So, you know, you really need to get your foot inside of it to really keep it on and secured or it's gonna be like kind of flopping around. And you know my thoughts on flip flops. But with these, I think you can honestly wear them with whatever you want. They'll go great with black. They'll go great with white neutrals. They'll go great with, I mean, printed pants. They'll go great with blue jeans. I think honestly, my favorite way to style them will be with brown trousers that I have and with just a nice, simple shirt. I think it's such a nice, easy, clean look. Although I do totally see myself wearing like blue jeans with a like vintage tee in these, so. Shocker. <laughs> This is why I don't let you hear while I film. Anyway, these are the leather loafer from Dries of a Noten. Absolutely love them. Such an amazing shoe. They are kind of hard to get your hands on, but if I can find them, I'm gonna link them below. If you see them in a shop and you're interested in them, I grab them then. Next, we got a fun t-shirt from Dries of a Noten. It's this beautiful little mesh printed shirt. You can just see through it enough, but it also has such a cool print that gives it this super on purpose, super put together. Like it doesn't really look like it's anything like too risque or anything like that. I just think it's such a fun print and a fun shirt for summer. It'll also keep me a little bit cool when it's really hot out. Should we throw it on? Maybe I'll put it on for us really quick. I think it's such a fun tee. I think the fit of it is really fun. I like that it kind of has like a muscly fit. It really does feel so comfortable. It's almost like this like plastic wiry mesh. So it doesn't feel like it's itchy or anything like that. You honestly feel like it's not even on you. I like that you can see tattoos through it very softly. It's nothing crazy overpowering. And I love that you can really see the print still. It's not this like look at my skin kind of shirt. Dries is like the king of prints. So leave it to him, but very, very happy about this purchase. And we're back. So yeah, two very solid items from Dries Van Owen, I would say. Next, I got some items from Koss. I love shopping at Koss, honestly. They always have fun, unique items for honestly a pretty great price, especially if it's something that I don't quite know if I'm really into that style yet or something. It's a really, really great brand to experiment with. So I got this bag from them for summer. I wanted a neutral color bag that is easy to just kind of like throw over my shoulder. I can easily get a crossbody out of it. It can shorten, it can lengthen. I mean, you know, it's just, it's a great little bag. It can honestly hold quite a bit of stuff. Perfect for anything you would need for just like a summer day. This is the bag at the longest length. I think it's a really great, just easy summer bag. I think it can go well with blue jeans, white jeans, I'm just kidding. I think it can go well with really anything. I think a white bag in the summer you can wear honestly with just about anything. And this one's a really great price as well. So if you are wanting like a summer leather bag, great. Next is an item that I don't know if people will agree with me on or not, but whatever. I think that ballet flats on men are going to become a pretty big trend. After watching the loafer trend just really sweep the world, I really do think the whole like slip on slip off thing is not going anywhere. And I think that people are gonna wanna step away from their typical like penny style loafers or anything like that. And I think they're gonna look for something different. And I think ballet flats are coming for men this year. And so I picked up these black ones with a little strap from Koss. This is kind of what I was telling you guys about how I really love to test the waters with something like this. These are a really great price for what you're getting and it kind of allows me to play with the idea of the style and see if I really, really love it before I start investing in some that I wanna have for a really long time or investing in some more like crazy designery ones or something like that. And honestly, you can't just go wrong with a simple black shoe. And that's what I love about Koss so much. They do really simple things, really, really well. And so with these, I would probably wear like an all black. I would wear maybe blue jeans and a sweater with a nice bag, very like sophisticated -y look. I think they'd be perfect for like day or night really. And so yeah, that is the ballet flat from Koss. Next up from Koss, I always grab a bunch of summer shirts from them. I think they always do really great colors like this green linen one. It'll keep me really cool, but it also gives me this nice fun summer color. They're always really good at getting summer colors. Whether you need something more unique or something something super simple like a white or blue shirt, they got you. A light desaturated green is one of my favorite colors to wear in the summer. And then with this one being linen, it just really screams summer. And I think you could really wear it any way. You could wear it casual with a pair of shorts. You could wear it casual with blue jeans, white jeans. You could dress it up with some white trousers even. If you wanna go really vacation-y, you can pair it with the buttons open with its almost matching green tank top. Cost makes a bunch of tank tops in a bunch of different colors and I load up on them every summer 
summer. They're just a great layering piece, honestly. You can wear them by themselves, you can wear them under the shirts, it's great. And so I think the way that I would style this would be probably opened with the green tank top underneath and probably white jeans, maybe blue jeans as well. That's probably my like go-to way. And like I said, if green is not your thing, they make a nice, beautiful one in yellow. That would also go super well with blue or white jeans. Even brown trousers, I think this would go great with. They make a matching t-shirt if a t-shirt's more your style. Sometimes it is just too hot outside and you just need something easy. And then every summer, I always pick up one of their white Oxford shirts. I can be really bad with white shirts. I'm not like the most careful when I'm out and about. So I usually pick one up knowing that at the end of the summer, it might be destroyed. If it's not, then I get to reuse it again. But I love it. I pack them all the time throughout the summer on any trips that I'm on. It's just a super easy shirt that you just can't go wrong with. It's a super nice fabric, so it'll keep you warm at night when it gets a little cooler. You can unbutton it and it's easy breezy blowing during the day. Can't go wrong. Okay guys, our final item. Now, these two t-shirts are just solid color shirts from Marnie. They have a cool little embroidery Marnie on the collar. Honestly, when I saw them in the store, I was like, you know what, it's just a t-shirt, I like don't need that. And then I made the mistake of trying it on and the fit of it is really where it got me. The fit of this tee is amazing, at least in my eyes. I have been looking for a t-shirt that just drapes on the shoulders really well, kind of has like a boxy fit, more loose fit to it. A lot of times I feel like I need to tuck t-shirts in because they're so form fitted to my body and this is the opposite and I've been looking for something like that for a very long time. And so they have a white and they also had a navy. I have a beautiful pair of navy pants that match this perfect and I've been looking for good tops for it forever and I found a plethora of sweaters, of vintage t-shirts, but nothing that kind of like gives like a nice more like upscale sophisticated -y look. And this t-shirt fits so well that I really think you could wear it out to dinner, you could wear it to parties or events, I think it just really gives that more upscale look for some reason. The fabric of both of them are very thick, but not so thick that it's gonna make you really hot. I actually wore this navy one to a dinner in New York City last weekend, and I mean, we were out for hours, and it was pretty hot outside, and I felt fine in it the whole time, so the thickness really didn't bother me, and I'm getting used to that humidity, like I said. But both of them, blue jeans, black jeans, white jeans, they'd go great with anything, any day, of the summer, you know? And these will also transition super well into fall and winter. So, you know, it's a no brainer. <laughs> And guys, that is my summer shopping haul here today. Did you have a favorite piece? Hmm. I think probably my favorite piece is either the Dries Van Noten t-shirt with the pattern or the Dries Van Noten slippers because I love my white ones so much that I know I'm just gonna wear those to town. Really? I thought um, your spectacles are my favorite. Oh, I forgot. I saw them on, yeah. I know, they're cute, right? Oh, see, I don't know. I love them all, so like that's why I bought them. True. Trying to not buy anything I don't really love, which obviously is a no-brainer, you would think, but Nick lost a um, photo that he was working on for two hours, so he's a little... I'm a little frazzled, but it's okay. I'm happy to be here. <laughs> a little sensitive right now. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope you guys enjoyed this summer haul. Tell me what your favorite item from the lot was. A ton of these items will be linked down below for you guys in case you want to check any of them out for summer. It can be twins. So thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.